and welcome. Today's video, we're gonna be playing with a brand new palette and some brand new brushes that Alter Ego just released. I wanted to play around, get a feel for this palette. I asked you guys later in the video if you want me to come back and do is it a dupe or just a waste of money, I will definitely do that. But this palette is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I will put them side by side later in the video for you guys. This palette is going to cost you $14.40 if you do use my code Hot Mess. We're also going to be playing around with their 12 piece brush set. Now this is a mixture of face and eye brushes but today I focus only using the eye brushes for you guys I did a full review thoughts on the brushes thoughts on the palette I will be coming back and filming a look for you guys with the blooms palette which is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona love palette both of these retail for $16 the brush collection is $26 but hot mess saves you the 10%. So before we jump into the video, guys, if you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name's Ron and over here, we always embrace the hot mess because it's judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone. I'm telling you guys, my Peloton's got me moving and grooving, and I'm not even drinking as much caffeine as I used to. I mean, Cody Rhodes V, we love you, you know? Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump on it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the products we're gonna use today. And also let me know if you want me to come back and do Is It A Dupe or Just A Waste Of Money where I put the palette up against the Natasha Denona palette. So, so let's go ahead and talk about the brush collection. You do get it in this nice size travel friendly bag, big enough to have all of the brushes in there. And of course you could pop your makeup in there as well if you wanted. And I'm gonna go ahead and use like the eye, eye brushes today, but you've got a nice collection of face brushes as well. Wish I had thought about it and I would have like applied my makeup using these brushes. What I'll do is I'll come back and get ready with me and show you guys all of these brushes. I mean, they're really nice. They're not too heavy, but they're heavy enough to where it kind of has that like luxe feel to it, but obviously insanely affordable. Let's talk about the palette. You know, this package just arrived and I've not even opened it and seen it in person. You guys, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. As far as the packaging goes, I love the fact that they have them in a little box and it's always kind of like this really nice like matte texture to it and it's in like your standard type of tar uh, cardboard casing or packaging but again it has that really soft like matte finish to it on the back you've got the names of all of the shadows in here and again it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona bronze palette which I do have sitting right here I told you guys in a lot of my Sephora VIB recommendation videos how much that I recommend this bronze palette so I'm excited to have an affordable option so it does look like offhand they're not set up identical and I get it I know not everybody is down for dupes or inspired by palettes um, we don't need to hear about it in the comment section uh, this is a dupe palette this is an inspired by palette and um, don't click the videos when I do my is it a dupe or just a waste of money because it's really annoying to hear your negative comments. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and create a look with this palette. If you guys do want me to do, is it a dupe or just a waste of money, putting this head to head with our Natasha Denona bronze palette, I can definitely do that for you guys. I can swatch and compare them. Let's go ahead and swatch a few of these. I love the fact, just like the Natasha Denona, it's a mix of some of the mattes, We've got some shimmers. I love Alter Ego shimmers because they're so soft and creamy and easy to work with. And let's go ahead and just, we'll just swatch a few of them. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Just a few of the shades, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more. I know like swatches don't tell the full story, but it's always fun. It's always fun. Let's do this dark, dark one. 
I mean, really nice. And I've told you guys for, how long have they been around? Like almost two years? They just have a really luxe type of formula. Very easy to build up, very easy to blend out. I mean, I think if you pick up this palette, you will be very, very happy. So I'm gonna go ahead, zoom you guys in. I did go ahead and already prime my lids with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. You guys know this is like my favorite primer because it's multitasking. You can apply a little underneath your eyes, is which what I do to help with any of like my fine lines, wrinkles, and crinkles. It does have a really nice opacity there, so it covers any of the veiny lids or veiny lines on my lids. Now, Ultra Ego does have a primer which works very, very well, but it is kind of a thinner consistency as far as that goes and it doesn't cover and even out my lids like i enjoy so let me go ahead zoom you guys in we'll go ahead and get started with a look okay so i've got all of our brushes out and i love the rose gold is that called the feral i think that's so pretty okay so i always like to go ahead and set my my lids after i have prime them so I am gonna just jump over real quick to my C Color Cosmetics. This is the Soft Natural palette. It's actually a dupe for one of the Too Faced palettes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set my lid real quick with this shade right here. I am gonna go ahead and use the Alter Ego brush. The, this is labeled number four, and just pat it right onto my lids. I am going to jump in to my eye brush. It is number five. And we're going to go in to the shade right here called Rattlesnake. There's a little bit of kick up as far as the, the shadow goes. To me, that's never a big deal. It just lets me know there's going to be some payoff. And to tap my brush. I do like to go in with a tap, tab, dab, dab type of motion. Sometimes I will do a little bit of a windshield wiper motion, but not too often because I do have mature eyes. They're slightly hooded, so they will give like a skipping look if I'm not careful. I'm gonna put a little extra under the eye. Moving on to the next shade, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the shade Earth, staying with my number five. Am I gonna stay with the number five? Let's see here. Now, I think I'm gonna jump over to the number six brush. Go a little bit lower, just dab it right in there. Okay, from there, I'm gonna just go into the shade Rus Russet right here, and I'm gonna put that kind of in the outer portion. Okay, I'm gonna switch the brush. I'm gonna go in with the number 10 brush, and we're gonna put that in the outer portion of the B of our eye. Say I really like these brushes. I'm the type of person I'm very set in my ways with the brushes that I use and I don't like to try out too many new ones but these are really easy. I'm gonna go back in the number five brush and jump into this lighter rattlesnake shade and just kind of calm it down a little just a little bit, softening, softening it up a little. Okay, I wanna add a little shimmer. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Cougar. I like to apply my shimmers with my finger just because I really like the warmth and I feel like I can really pat it down into my mature lids and get more of a smoother look. I kind of want to go into this plateau. I'm going to add a little bit of that right in the center. Ooh, that is so pretty. I 
I just love Alter Ego's formula, guys. It is literally so easy to use. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to go ahead, apply uh, some liner, some mascara. I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I am back. I even put my lipstick on. My lip liner is my Real Her I Am Confident. And then lipstick is the Dried Cosmetics Between the Sheets. It's kind of like this really pretty peachy nude and then for the gloss i am wearing the tower 28 this is in the shade of fire i love this it's just beautiful now i'll be honest with you guys i'm a little uncomfortable with like bronzy oranges reds right now just because i have zero tan like it's 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 cold out here in kentucky so as far as this palette goes i love this I just love their formula. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever get tired of hearing me say that, but I love the fact that it's affordable and it just feels like a luxe type of formula. Like, look how beautiful that is. I mean, I have always loved their mattes. I've never struggled with them. And keep in mind, I, my technique may be different than your technique because I'm dealing with mature lids. So I don't go into the windshield wiper motion. I do the tap, tap, dab, dab. You can pack this on really nicely, blend it out very softly if that's what you're wanting to do and i wanted to be able to get this video up to you guys sooner just so i could give you a review on this as well as their other palette which is the bloom palette um that is a dupe for the love palette by natasha denona so what i'll do is i will film the bloom palette get that up to you guys as soon as possible if you guys are interested in is it a dupe or just a waste of money i will definitely come back and put them head to head if you guys are interested I had done some with like, obviously 2020, people really weren't coming out with eyeshadow palettes. N normally, I um, do Is It A Duper Just Waste Money with Alter Ego, C Color Cosmetics, but the pandemic kind of put a botch on that. Um, I picked up a couple Shein type of uh, eyeshadow palettes and I did do a dupe on that, but it didn't seem to be of interest for people. So let me know if you guys really are interested in seeing them head to head because I will definitely do that. But I did want to at least get individual reviews up for this palette for $16 definitely it has the luxe look to it the luxe feel to it it definitely does not feel like a $16 palette matter of fact with the code hot mess it won't be a $16 palette it'll be like so hold on I can't do fast math let me let me just let me tell you guys how much this is actually gonna be okay are you ready for this so it is going to cost you $14.40 <laughs> <laughs> so for $14.40, absolutely. Like, absolutely. I think that the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette is definitely my go-to summer palette or spring palette. When I have color type of palette. So for me, I, I love this. I can definitely see myself reaching for this once I get my little tan going. But if you guys are wanting a very nice luxe palette and you want that bougie feel without that bougie price, definitely make sure to check out shop alter ego as far as the brushes go we focused on the eye brushes um off the top of my head let's see we did the 10 i, th I think blah, 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 i forgot to tell you guys i did the 10 the where are they i am so off i don't know six and five and then we did use four so these are the four brushes out of the 12 that I did use, and I actually really like them. They applied everything very nicely. I was able to do my little techniques that I do, and I had zero issues whatsoever. For $26, well, again, under that with a 10% off coupon code, and you get this nice, like, luxe type of travel bag, I think that's a good deal as well. I do need to come back and try the face brushes out for you guys. Oh wait, hold on. This? Yes, yes, honey. Does it look cute? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> she's back. Now she's matching her shoes to her outfit, guys. 
<laughs> say hi to hell anyways guys i i'm very happy once again i'm pleased with alter ego's formula nothing has changed if you love their formula in the past i think you're gonna go ahead and continue to love it easy to work with and I, at this point i'm just repeating so if you guys are interested in picking it up i'll have a link down below don't forget code hot mess will save you the 10 percent. you can use that over and over if you guys are interested in the lipsticks i'll link those down below for you guys on my face i have the natasha denona uh transfer matte foundation it's on sale right now over at sephora i'll link that if you guys are interested and i have the huda beauty concealer on with the laura mercier powder you can come over <laughs> what are you doing are you guys yeah mom life is Haley here yeah okay i love you be safe Smoochies. I normally film in the morning, guys. I'm filming much later in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's it's definitely easier, I think, to film in the morning. So, um, I will have everything listed and linked down below. My top as well is from Amazon. It's super affordable. If it is still available, I think it was like over a year that I purchased it. I will link it down below for you guys. Anyways, guys, don't forget I have a second channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs, where I have been uploading hmm, once or twice a week over there. And then Haley has her channel. Hopefully, um, we will be filming our Ipsy vs. Ipsy Mother vs. Daughter very, very soon. And don't forget to give me a follow over on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, friends, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye, guys.